Hello, and welcome to Worldview Connections with Isaac Matthews. We're on Worldview Life Skills Series. Being assertive, not passive, and not aggressive. First, defining terms, passive, assertive, and aggressive. Passive is accepting what happens to you in life without active response, allowing what others do without active resistance. More specifically, allowing others to push you around and bully you. Allowing others to take advantage of you and push you around, not good. Aggressive behavior is hurtful. The message this behavior sends out is only I count and you don't count. Verbal or physical threats or actions, fighting, bullying, gossip. So aggressive is the opposite of being passive. But assertive is a social skill that relies heavily on effective communication while simultaneously respecting the thoughts and wishes of others. People who are assertive clearly and respectfully communicate their wants, needs, positions, and boundaries to others. There's no question of where they stand, no matter what the topic. Individuals who are high in assertiveness don't shy away from defending their points of view or goals, or from trying to influence others to see their side. Individuals who are high in assertiveness are open to both compliments and constructive criticism. People can improve their assertiveness through practical exercises and experience. So passive is, again, you're putting others before yourself to an extreme, to an unhealthy level. But aggressive is only thinking of your needs, not having any empathy or, or care about others. But right in the balance, assertiveness. Think about yourself, also think about others, make sure you are listening and understanding others, but also making sure that your needs and wants are met. Now assertive, right in the middle, you're authentic, you have courageous way of living, and you're fair. It's a way of saying I'm okay and you're okay. But on the aggressive side, on the right side, bullying, self-centered, and sensitive, it's a sledgehammer aggressiveness towards other people. Yeah, you may be okay, but you're not okay. Other people are not okay, right? So it's saying that I'm okay, but I don't care if you're okay. And the opposite, being passive, it's like being a doormat on the left side of this figure. Now, it's saying to others that they're okay, but I'm not okay. You're placating, you're one down, you're defeated. Now, passive aggressive people have themselves under control and want to control others without the consequences that arise out of being direct, making them inconsiderate and manipulative. So people that are passive aggressive, they are kind of, they're, you know, I'm not going to get into the psychological elements of, you know, aspects of disorders and things like that. But basically you want to focus on the middle assertiveness, be in control of yourself. And, you know, you constructively confront a problem and you can focus on expressing your opinion, your wants, and your needs without being disagreeable, without being harmful on others, and without letting others harm you. So it's concerned about yourself and others. That's seeking that healthy balance. In this chart I created, assertiveness is on top. You have, you're living in that area of choice. You have choices. You have more freedom. But once you're being aggressive or once you're letting other people take advantage of you, you're in the area of no choice. You're going to have some bad consequences. Now, we're going to get into the next videos on Maslow's motiv motivation model. So just ending with the video with this one is just showing that we have physiological needs, safety needs. We have our needs in our lives and how important it is to be assertive and making sure that our needs are met and also making sure that we're respecting other people. So thank you for joining us today on Worldview Connections. I'm Isaac Matthews. Stay with us through this series. We're going to have a series on being assertive and having to have, have, helping you have better communication skills with others and making better friends and have meaningful relationships. Thank you. Have a good day.